because we got a request today on the forum for somebody who is having a difficulty specifically coding video. Now the tutorial that's up there already looks at audio, so um, this particular person, you can see it on the forum, um, wasn't aware that they could code using drag and drop and wasn't aware that they could customize the screen here for the uh, nodes that they're coding to. So I'm going to just run through those actions quickly and then post it for anybody else who wants to, to take a look. I've just opened the tutorial that comes preloaded with Invivo, the Environmental Friendly uh, Changes Down East project, and I've opened up a video. <clears throat> but I personally would never code when the screen is, um, the video is, is at the bottom. I would prefer to, to code right to left, particularly if I'm using drag and drop because I think it's easier to drag text or video segments left to right. So I'm going to switch the view here to right, which will give me a better view of the, the data. And then I'm going to switch to my nodes. Um, we'll just create a new folder here called test nodes. But this could be open codes or whatever you want to call. Actually, I'll call it codes rather than nodes. You just use plain English. And here, I'm going to create some codes and code to them. So let's imagine we have created our themes or codes or categories, depending on which literature you're reading. And now I'm ready to code. Um, I can use, the, and this particular person on the forum was using the right mouse code selection at existing nodes. And then I can browse for the codes that I want to find, whatever way I've set up my codes, and I can code to them. Um, but this limits your view of the name or even the descriptor of the node, and that's the problem that this particular person is having. So th instead, I'll just drag the segment and code it that way. If I switch back to bottom view, sorry, detail view bottom, I can see whatever columns I've left up here that I want to see, including the descriptor. So for example, if I wanted to change that view, I can go to list view, customize, and I can put in whatever fields I want to see and wherever I want to see them. So I want to see the description up beside the name, so now I see it. And then as I update my codes, What I want to see will appear here. And of course, I can equally drag and drop this way. And of course, I can code directly from the timeline. If I don't want to see those fields, if I just move this back, I can listen to a segment of audio. And there are uh, a media tab here opens up that allows me to use uh, pause, start, stop, uh, or the keyboards. F7 will start the tape. What about the natural environment or the F11 will stop. Start selecting for coding. F12 will stop selecting for coding, and I just pause the tape there. So this bit here, using F7 and F8, will is now selected for coding, and I can equally just drag that to the code very quickly. So coding should not be a cumbersome task in Envivo. It should be something easy to do. And whether you use right mouse, drag and drop. Uh, or whether you use code selection at, uh, all of these options should be very quick and easy. And the screen, the working area that you're working with, should be as you want to see it, and it is possible. Um, for further inquiries on this, you can contact us directly via the forum, but at least that might give you some sense of uh, how convenient it can be to code video and uh, indeed audio or any media file in Envivo.